Bianca, what are you so scared of? JR, we've been friends forever. And friends tell each other the truth, even if it hurts. Not always. But what does this have to do with Bess? Babe seems to have her heart set on me being a part of your baby's life. But the vibe I'm getting from you tells me that you don't want me to be anywhere near Bess. Be honest. Do you want me to keep away from her? If I had it my way, you'd never hold my daughter ever again. Could I really keep Bianca away from her daughter? The rest of her life? I know that I should give Bess back, and I want to. I, I really do, but then... But then I flash to JR, and, and there he is. He wants to christen Bess with his grandmother's name. that our baby is dead. I don't have the answer for you. God, I just hate this. Maybe Paul Kramer took it to the grave, but there's no way that I can do that. Every time that I get close to, to figuring out what's right, then something or someone just comes along and then my head gets even more jumbled than it was when I started. Crystal. Babe, we need to talk. Jamie, do you think it could just wait till after the ceremony? No, we gotta do this now. You two stay here with Miranda. No, and miss the look on Bianca's face when she finds out that her baby could be alive right under this roof? No way. Okay, fine, you can come with me, but she's my sister. I get to tell her myself. Okay, okay. Uh, slow down! You're not telling anybody, especially Bianca. No, no, Ryan, don't try to stop me, please. If you give Bianca her baby back, why delay that joy? I want this baby back in my sister's arms today. Cocktail weenie before the ceremony is supposed to be bad luck. Only if you choke on it. Woof. So, you ready for the big event? Our weddings always bring back a lot of sad memories. Mm. Well, next time get rid of the middleman. Just find a beautiful woman you can't stand and buy her a house. All right, kill half the fun of it. <laughs> you, you, you're still uh, <clears throat> the ace detective, right? Yeah, that's what it says on my business card. Why? Yeah, what is your, what are your PI instincts? About this whole Paul Kramer business, I'm concerned about Babe. You're concerned about Babe? No, if she, she's in trouble, well, maybe we can head her off the pass before the police get wind of it and sock her in the old slammerino, you know. <laughs> Come on. You, no, no, absolutely, continue. I mean, what are, what are father-in-laws for? I'm, I'm intrigued. All right. Your I point is that maybe you and I could team up and see what we can uncover. <laughs> what? You and I are the worst combos as you and Palmer. I, I got a better idea, an even better idea. Why don't you call PC, huh? Tell him to bring his gun. Maybe this time his aim will be better. Then you won't help me. No! I am not going to help you get rid of Babe. Oh, who's talking about getting oh, rid of Babe? I'm, I'm talking about protecting the mother of my grandchild, the woman my son adores. Yeah, set it to music, okay, Adam? Look, the only thing that's rooting around the Kramer investigation is going to get you as a schnozful and nothing. 
the, the police must consider her a suspect. No, they don't. Those are just routine questions. I'm sure they don't consider Babe a suspect. So why don't you just do the kids a favor, okay? Why don't you back off and let them enjoy it? All right, as usual, you completely misinterpret it. Yeah. Where's Mary? I don't know. It was my turn to watch her. Check the linen closet. She's probably in, a, in there with some waiter. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Ted. What are you? I thought you were uh, supposed to be on your way to Vegas, bringing Erica home. Yeah, well, I had my bags packed, but then a friend gave me some advice. And as hard as that advice was to take, I, I decided not to go. Huh. Well, that's a rough call. Yeah. Yeah, I was ready to ride out and rescue Erica, but then I was persuaded that whatever living hell she's created for herself, if I try to force her out of it, I could lose her for good. Oh, uh, Mr. Slater, forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. Won't you come in? So, uh, you looking for something? I was looking for the hem you wanted me to throw out. Oh, well, I can't uh, face three shows a day without a little siesta. <laughs> and those strange dreams that I've been having, I'm sure it's this town, it's Vegas. You know, this place is just so surreal. Where else would you find the Great Pyramid flanked by an Eiffel Tower and a pirate ship? Mm, world away from Pine Valley. <laughs> What's your pleasure? Grilled veal chop with a side of spaghetti oleo. Best I can do is brandy and slush soda. Mm. Then you need to come with me. I own a piece of an Italian restaurant, Celestino's, where the pasta is so squisito it made Pavarotti weep. No, really, I'm fine. You're drinking on an empty stomach. You're gonna land on your butt center stage. I can hold my own, Mr. Slater. Really, I, I would just, I would prefer to stay here and just admire this spectacular view. You think it would help if you opened the blinds? Sure, I can't tempt you with a nice, warm duck salad. Oh no, really, I'm I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you are. Did you come here to analyze me, Mr. Slater? I came here because I'm concerned about you. Well, then that was an elevator ride wasted. What's haunting you? <clears throat> Who's that phantom? Who's that ghost that won't go away? Is it your father? Maybe I'm being selfish, but I'm concerned about what's best for my daughter, and I'm also concerned about your needs, too. I've made it impossible. Well, you certainly scared the hell out of me when you disappeared with Bess like that. Now, I'm not meaning to grind you down. I just need you to see it from my point of view. How on earth could I possibly ever let you take Bess, say, to the park or the zoo? or anywhere without me sweating whether or not you're going to bring her back. You have every right to be afraid. Listen, you're not a monster. I'm not blaming you. You are Miranda's mother. And that was ripped away from you. And I know you love Bess. Maybe too much. I don't know. But it is my job to protect Bess. Please, understand that. I do. I do understand, Jared. And now I need you to understand me. Hey, it's a big day. Yeah. Finally. I heard the cops were here. Paul Kramer dropped out of sight. Yeah, or somebody dropped him. Oh, my God, it's always bad news. You okay? Considering the cops busted on my wedding day, pretty much that's my something blue. Yeah, thanks for asking. Listen, babe, 
I know that you and Kramer were still married when you hooked up with Jr. and you kept him clueless. What, did Jr. tell everyone? No, 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 I know why you did it. I mean, you were scared you were going to lose him. But your lie pounded him hard. And I need to know before I stand up with you guys at this wedding, before I toast my brother and his wife, is this the last secret, babe? Is this the last time you're going to blindside my brother? Brian, I saw Bianca when she took this baby. She thought it was hers. The connection was real. And now it's hitting me. Maybe she didn't make a mistake. Maybe we made the mistake taking the baby away from her. I was there. I was there, too. I saw the light in her eyes. Didn't you? Ryan, she deserves to know the truth. Miranda is alive. If it is the truth... Don't you want it to be true? Well, your scenario is all based on your feelings. I mean, you're reading what you want to into it. No, doesn't the fact that Greenlee and I are agreeing mean anything to you? <sighs> I'm just saying that, that you're both too close to this to be objective. All right, do you really want to rush to tell Bianca something that might not be true? Do you want to give her all this hope and then take it away? Do you realize how cruel that would be? She would be devastated. It would be like losing Miranda all over again. And then there's Babe and JR. If this is Miranda, it means that their baby was lost. Do you want to do that to them? I'm just saying, let's get some solid proof first. Okay, like what? Like a DNA test. As long as we're being perfectly honest, I've had the same fears myself. Really? Yeah, that's why I'm keeping Maggie so close. So if I escape too near the edge, she'll be there to pull me back. Listen, you're not crazy. You're just in mourning. But I'm not going to put Bess at risk. I can't. I also don't want to disappoint Babe, and I don't want to ruin this day for her. So, here's the deal. I'm going to go through with the christening as planned. I'll be named Bess's godmother. And then, I'm going to step away. I'll find things, things to do, ways to not see Bess, unless there's going to be a lot of people around. Sort of a safety in numbers kind of thing. It would be okay if I saw Bess when you were there, right? Of course. Good. So we understand each other. That's good. Now I'm going to go help Babe get ready. beautiful daughter, Jr. I hope you know how lucky you are. Every single day is a blessing. Why didn't we see it? This little princess could be Bianca's baby. With the emphasis on could. Oh, come on. It makes sense. Adam put the fear of Adam in Kramer that night. He was scared spitless. We only have his word for which baby was lost. Yes, okay, so then how do we prove that this is Miranda? What, what, how do we test her? All I need is a clean cotton swab and a clean plastic bag. I'm going to swab the inside of the baby's cheek, and I'll check her DNA with Bianca's. Okay, I'll get a cotton swab from the nursery. I I'll get a bag from the kitchen. If a miracle like this could happen on today of all days, God may have just earned himself a second chance. Why? What's so special about today? It doesn't concern you. Oh. There's no way that you can get a sample of Bianca's DNA without alerting her. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. So you're not buying any of this? Well, first of all, there's, there's Babe. Wouldn't she know that this baby is not hers? Babe was out of it the night of the crash. Remember that? Then there was the septicemia, the spiking fever. Wait a minute. Are you saying you think that Babe knows that she had the wrong baby? Jamie, I love JR, and I would never set out to hurt him. No, I know you didn't want to hurt him. 
But I haven't seen my brother this wrecked since his mom died. And I don't want to see that pain in his eyes ever again. I promise to be the best wife ever. And that is my promise to you and to JR. Now, come here. Give me a hug. Mm. You are such a wonderful brother and a great friend. Thank you so much for caring. Well, it looks like you and JR are going the distance. <laughs> going for the gold anniversary, that is. So consider yourself invited. Well, save me a dance. Uh, this best man's got to go work on his toast. planning the wedding of the year for Adam's son and my own daughter elopes without a word to me? Not now. Yes, now. You're not going to get away without giving details to your mother. The wedding, the proposal, the honeymoon. Uh, now, as hurt as I am, I've been kept out of the loop. I'm so proud of my darling, brilliant daughter. You have captured the heir to the Cambius fortune. Right. And I'm going to hang him right above the mantle. No, Ryan is much too fine a specimen for that. So tell me, how did he finally get the bait. Uh, knowing he'd have you as a mother-in-law was the deal clincher. You know what? I actually heard the caterers saying that they dropped the wedding cake. What? Yeah. What? Damn it! Damn fools. Greenlee, really? glad to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Come with me. You're going to witness a real-life miracle. And what would that be? We think Miranda's alive. What do you know about my father? Who have you been talking to? Not much happens in this town that I don't know about. Well, whatever you think you Your know... Your father, Eric Kane, passed away about eight weeks ago. Biggs Memorial. My condolences. Save them. What is your interest in my father? What right do you have to invade my private life? <sighs> when that fan recognized you in the casino, I want to make sure there were no leaks. So I ran a search on the internet, and I hid on your father's obituary. Interesting reading. As a director, your father was king of the B-lot. Very popular in France. And you and your daughters were named as survivors, along with your half-brother, Mark, who lives in Tokyo. How thorough. I'm on the hospital board. And I was told your father died just minutes before you got there. Well, aren't you the cunning detective? Gives me a fix on why you've been so troubled. As compared to what, Mr. Slater? My former self? Losing you don't have a clue parents. about who that was? Losing a parent's a difficult thing. I don't want to talk about him. There is no point. You could never understand a, a man like my father. No one could. Does that include your daughters? Have you talked to them about it? I do not wish to discuss my family with you or anyone. Are we clear? Your hair is so soft. It's like corn silk. Babe, what's the matter? You got some pre-wedding willies? I thank God for you every day, Bianca. We're soul sisters forever, right? More than anything, I just want you to be happy. I will be. Inch by inch. Time and amazing friends like you are going to work their wonders. You'll see. You know that I would do anything for you, right? Babe, you've already made the ultimate sacrifice. You risked your life for me. You are my savior. Mine and my baby's. Wow. You look good enough to take to a wedding. You do too. 
<laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you inside. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Look, thank you for helping, for handling the cops and for stepping up for babe. I really should put my apologies in double digits. No, no, you don't owe me anything. Babe's already been through enough. She didn't deserve to be hassled by the cops on her wedding day. Well, thank you, anyway. <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm. Top of the world, why? Oh, you once told me the only reason you get the munchies is when you're anxious. And if this is all for you, then I'd say you're well past nervous. Hmm. <laughs> Like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. You can relax. Everything's going to be great. We've already had our wedding interrupt us with the police. I'm sure nothing else is going to blow up today. you relax? I'm telling you, everything's going to be fine. It'll go off without a hitch. The kids will glow all the way through their vows. And don't forget, the icing on the cake is that beautiful baby girl. Sometimes I think God is sitting up there in his skybox getting a big chuckle out of all us parents. Things never turn out the way we think they will. You're telling me? I, mean, I feel like I've spent half my adult life as a parent, sort of forgetting all about the big plans I have for my kids' future and just trying to get through the next five minutes. I heard that. When Babe was a child, <laughs> she was always getting into one scrape after the other. I just couldn't wait for her to grow up. If I could stop chasing after her with a wet mop and a first aid kit and just, just settle in there being my buddy. Might be a bit of a wait. I think it's a good idea to bring a good book. <laughs> yeah. Seems the older your kids get, the more complicated things are. <sighs> you know, when they're little, you just... you just take care of them the best you can. That's your job. That's what you sign on for. And then they reach that magic age. And it's your job to back off. Even if you see them revving up for a heartache. You're just supposed to butt out. But sometimes I can't help myself. And that, that is when God really gets a big belly laugh because you end up making things a whole lot worse. In case nobody has done it yet, let me be the first to welcome you to the Can't Win for Losing Club. I just want Babe to make her own decisions, you know? Let her do that. I mean, she's the one that's got to live with him. And in the end, I just want her to be happy. <laughs> Easier said than done. Crystal. There's not a person that's met you who doesn't know how much you love your daughter. And even though you've made your fair share of mistakes, it doesn't change the fact that you are one hell of a mother. The babe is lucky to have you in her corner. Anybody would be. There. You look like you just stepped off the pages of Hottie Quarterly. Well, this is the dress that I have on, and... <laughs> you look great, Maggie, but I always think that. <laughs> nice save. So, what's bugging you? I just got a bad feeling. About the wedding? Yeah. When JR was doing his last night as a free man thing, he was giving off some pretty weird vibes. And just now, I got the same thing from Babe. I guess you were surprised to find out I was married before. Especially to Paul. I didn't have a clue. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings by not telling you. That was your secret to keep. Hey, 
have you, um... Have you ever kept a secret? I mean, a big secret from somebody you cared about? Because you thought deep in your heart you were doing it for the right reasons? Yeah, I have. But the thing is, you can't ever know what's best for somebody else. Most secrets come from fear. And they live in the dark. And you live with them. Babe, you're not keeping another secret from JR, are you? What the hell are you doing huddled around my baby? JR, well, there's no easy way into this. Questions have come up, and there, there are some serious doubts. Doubts? About what? About who this baby really is. What the hell are you talking about? JR, that night at the crash site, we think that Paul Kramer was wrong when he told you that this was your baby. Yes, we think a horrible mistake has been made, and this baby is really Bianca's. You're crazy. The only mistake I made was thinking that you were my friend. No, I am your friend. This no, no, is get away from my baby, okay? All of you. All right, just, just, just hear us out, Jr. Why? I don't know what kind of sick joke you're all trying to pull. But this is my little girl. I want you to stay away from her. What's going on here? They think this isn't my baby. There's crazy as Bianca. They say the best is Miranda. All right, Adam, just stay calm. Let me explain what's going on. Get out of here. Get out of my house. Go on. Get out of my house. And if any of you try to lay claim to my grandchild, I swear to God, I will kill you. You've taken some huge hits. The recent loss of your father. I lost my father a long time ago. Death of your daughter's baby. I know you think you're coping, but maybe... You um... have no idea. You know nothing about what I've been going through. Nothing. I do know that I've interrupted some very realistic dreams. Hey, maybe you want to talk about something, you know? Why on earth would I bear my scars to you? Maybe I can help you be a friend. A friend? Oh, no, please, no more friends, please. I have ended up to here with people who claim to be my friend, who say that they only mean well and they want to help me and they have only my best interest at heart. That sounds like someone who's been burned pretty badly. Don't shrink me, Mr. Slater. I can see straight through you. Yet yeah, behind this nice, sympathetic smile is someone who wants something. Like what? Well, why don't you tell me? You're the one who activated your <clears throat> search engine. How would you like it if I did a little sneak peek into your past? Did a little search on you? Everyone is hiding something, Mr. Slater. How deep and dark are your secrets? Oh, I am very sure you're hiding quite a lot. But you know what? I don't care. Keep your secrets to yourself. The last thing I need in this world is another so-called friend that I should trust my life with because that only dead ends in betrayal. You don't need any more. Don't touch me! What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm cutting you off. Excuse me? No more booze. None of my employees are going to give you any more drinks. That means the bar, the restaurant, the hotel, and the casino. You may own the hotel, Mr. Slater, but you don't own me. Nobody tells Erica Kane what to do. Nobody. Okay. You know, I understand you don't want to be my friend. That's cool. But I'm still your boss. Show up tonight for work. On time and sober, or you're fired. Thanks for all those nice things you said. I, you know, I, I gotta go find my date. Pick your date? David Hayward. Be, be nice. You don't have to worry about me. 
I'll be a perfect gentleman. So I'll tell you what, you um, take a deep breath every once in a while between stepping your face and then go find Dr. Evil. I got something else to take care of. Which part of get out don't you understand? Dear, at least just hear us out, please. I mean, I'll call security and let them kill you. Adam, you need to hear this. This, this is not just a crazy theory. It's more than a feeling. I think Babe knows the truth. Of course she knows the truth. She knows her own daughter. Dear, I overheard her talking to the baby. She called her Miranda. Look, Jar, we know that even considering that this might be a possibility is going to be very difficult for you. If there's any chance that this baby is beyond, because we have to prove it one way or the other. At least confront, babe. She's lied to you before, JR. How do you know she's not lying right now? I'll give you two minutes to clear off the property before I have you thrown out. Get babe down here. Get babe down here now. Imaginations and hyperdrive. Okay, because any couple that renews their vows before their first anniversary can have major problems. You know, I hope you're right, Mags, but where is everyone? I don't know. I guess they're getting ready. I know my brother. Something doesn't smell right. Well, I guess I've missed it. I mean, I've been so tuned into Bianca and how she's dealing with this whole godmother thing. She is, hands down, the most amazing and strongest woman I've ever known. Oh, babe, you are the most beautiful bride. You know, years ago, at one of my mother's more recent weddings, my grandmother, Mona, gathered all the cane women in front of a mirror, just like this. She called us a legacy of strong women. And she told us to look at ourselves and see how that legacy continues. Generation after generation, from mother to daughter. And then last summer, we did the same thing when my mother was gonna marry Uncle Jack. And that's how traditions are born. Babe, you are as strong as any cane woman, past or present. And I want you to pass that legacy onto your daughter, Bess, the way I would have passed it on to Miranda. <sighs> Bianca, I didn't think that I had the strength, but after what you just said to me, I have the courage to tell you something. Babe. I'm, I'm sorry, JR said he needs to see you right away in the library. Wait a well, minute, not now? <laughs> Look, it's one thing for the groom to see the bride on her wedding day, but not in her wedding dress. JR said it's really important and not to worry about superstition. You know what? Um, I'm sure it's okay if Tara and I, we've survived so much. Um, nothing can hurt us now. Going on. No, it's nothing for you to worry about. Are you sure? Maybe I should go after. No, no, no. This is between the bride and the groom. Just, just believe in happy endings.
Hey, Bianca. Uh, where's Babe? Um, JR needed to see her about something. You don't know why? No, but it sounded important. going on. Kendall said that you needed to see me. Tell me our baby's not dead. Because everybody here seems to think that this is Bianca's baby. Tell me that they're wrong, babe. Tell me that this is my daughter. Tell me that our baby's alive and not lost in that river. On the next All My Children. This is our baby. Tell them, babe. Is she? Or did you call her Miranda because that's the truth? Is this my sister's baby? Go ahead, babe. Tell them. Mama's here, honey. I'm with you all the way.